Steve, can you hear me all right? Yes, good morning. Good morning. All right, your sound sounds good too. So we'll get started here in about five minutes.
inside the cup and you're not supposed to touch the bowl. You're not supposed to touch the rake in the same way. We did, we've started thinking about how we can make this better. All right, good morning, everybody. Everybody hear me? He's gonna, he's on the screen up there. Okay, okay good morning, everybody. Are we ready to go, Eric? I believe we are. Okay. So we'll call the meeting to order at uh, 7.30. And uh, Amanda, if you would do roll call, please. Mr. Gertz. Here. Mrs. Plank. Here. Mr. Kyle Miller. Here. Mr. Mullet. Here. Mr. Steve Miller. Here. Okay, a reminder, we are operating on our consent agenda. Um, Eric, if there's any guests to acknowledge, you might have to help me out there. I can't see the other side of the camera. Yep, uh, there are uh, no guests to acknowledge here this morning. Okay. So uh, approval of minutes, if uh, would entertain a motion to um, approve the minutes, which is appendix A, which everybody received. So moved. Second. Julie first, Jim second. Go ahead, Amanda. Mrs. Plink? Yes. Mr. Gertz? Yes. Mr. Kyle Miller? Yes. Mr. Mullet? Yes. Mr. Steve Miller? Yes. Okay, on to uh, our agenda for today. Um, need an approval for today's agenda. Or a motion for an approval for today's agenda. I like that motion. Oh, sorry. Thurman, Jim, go ahead, Amanda. Mr. Mullet? Yes. Mr. Gertz? Yes. Mrs. Clink? Yes. Mr. Kyle Miller? Yes. Mr. Steve Miller? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, Mr. Bune with Superintendent's report, go ahead. Okay. Well, welcome everybody here this morning to our June meeting. Uh, we have a number of communication items here this morning, but uh, first one there that we're excited about here coming up on June 28th, uh, here in just a couple weeks, is our um, Highland graduation for our 74 seniors. So we're, uh, we're excited and a lot of work being done by Highland staff uh, to pull that off and make that happen um, in person and then also streamed online, uh, live, and then uh, to wrap things up with, um, organizing a car parade through town. So and I'm sure Mr. Spraying will review some of that uh, in his report there. But then also want to just also highlight uh, our three eighth grade graduations coming up uh, next week already on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at Wise Elementary, Chestnut Ridge, and Mount Hope. Uh, looking forward to seeing uh, those eighth graders um, as well. Uh, number two there is our uh, first reading of an update to a NEOLA policy, um, uh, and then next month we'll do our we'll do our final reading there. Uh, number three is our just our quarterly requirement for our um, business advisory council spring quarterly report from the Tri County ESC. And then number four, you can kind of see it in the screen there, um, uh, but last week uh, Mr. Alsep, superintendent at Buckeye. Uh, dropped off uh, the logo, the Hawk logo sign there that you see uh, on the screen. Um, that was a collaboration this spring between a number of student departments there, uh, their CAD department, welding and auto collision. Um, and it looks uh, very sharp, uh, something they made for all their cooperating districts. So I want to thank uh, Buckeye and the students uh, there that created, uh, created that sign. So we'll go ahead and go through our normal uh, building reports and everybody, I will just kind of call your name um, as I see them on the screen there. And then you just want to make sure you mute, not mute yourself when it's, when it's your turn there. So uh, CJ, you're up first. All right, great. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, as, as Mr. Bune had shared, we, we do have graduation coming up on Sunday, uh, June 28th, and we're very excited uh, to, be, to be able to have that in person as well as being streamed online. Um, we are working very hard to make sure it's, it's well organized and executed. Um, 
on the technology end of things, uh, Mr. Pringle and uh, Mark Stutzman, who's a bus driver in the district, as well as our technology department, um, are working together to make sure that we can stream it on YouTube and also have it um, well projected in the in the recenter on the video board and also on the pull down screens. Um, so we have a lot of people coming together for that. Um, also, um, as a as a a different touch this year, Summer Kellogg has donated uh, photography services and she will be taking a, a formal graduation headshot um, as well as a, a, a picture of the moment of when the student receives their diploma. Um, and then the students will receive an electronic version um, of those pictures and they'll be able to print them off for however they would like. So, so we're very excited about that and appreciative of, of Summer donating her services. Um, as Mr. Bean has shared also, we uh, are going to have a kind of a culminating event of a parade um, where um, in, in lieu of the hat toss, the traditional hat toss, um, we're going to have students line up uh, in, a, in a car chain. Uh, they'll be led through, through the town of Berlin um, by our school resource officer, Terry, and then also John Schleball um, from the fire department has helped and he's going to have the streets blocked. Um, as well as uh, hopefully have a unit uh, lead the group through as well. Um, so on that, on that day, how it'll work is we'll, we'll have the ceremony end. Um, we'll dismiss the graduates, have them walk out. We'll have them wait in their cars uh, for approximately 15 to 20 minutes, whatever we think is appropriate. Um, as that's happening, we'll also dismiss the guests. We'll give them an opportunity to get down to Berlin and get set up. And then we will have um, school resource officer Terry start us through Berlin. Um, I know one question that, that I've gotten is parents have asked, well, can I drive my child through? Well, absolutely. Um, that is completely your call, um, whatever your comfort level is with that, but know that there will be a, a kind of a, an escort, I guess, and there'll be a pace to the parade. Um, so it should be fairly controlled, but we also want people to be a part of that in whatever way they would like. Um, finally, just uh, so everyone's aware, we'll have a, a lot of information being shared uh, Thursday of this week. So please be checking email and voicemail on Thursday of this week, things like uh, guest seating arrangement and arrival times. Um, so, so that's a lot of an update on graduation. I'm gonna kind of hand it off to Mr. Pringle here to, to share some uh, exciting updates we've been having to facilities uh, here in the first uh, several weeks of June. Good morning, everyone. Uh, as Mr. And Mr. Sprang said, uh, I'm gonna go over some progress of things here uh, at Highland. Um, you know, outside the soccer field is uh, coming along. Um, they're out there working uh, this morning. So it looks like we're making good progress there. Um, a cement pad outside of the cafeteria um, is finishing up uh, for the cafeteria ladies uh, when it's time to, um, you know, take meals to uh, the other buildings. Also another project, uh, waterproofing down um, on the outside wall of study hall. Uh, looks like that's about complete as well. Um, and also I want to thank uh, Wes, Bill, Bo, um, Wayne um, for all the work that they're doing inside of the building and outside of the building as well. Um, you know, painting in the hallway um, seems to be finishing up, deep cleaning of classrooms, waxing the floors, um, lots of mowing this time of the year, uh, everything. So appreciate all the work that all the maintenance crew uh, is doing uh, to make our buildings look good inside and outside and uh, all the projects seem to be coming along and the weather here this week looks like it's going to continue to be cooperative. All right. Thank you, Mr. Sprang. Mr. Pringle. Uh, next up, uh, Mr. Lunabor. All right. Good morning, everybody. Um, Kind of sitting in the office and feeling a little jealous of Kyle out there in the wilderness. It looks like he's having a, a fun vacation there, but I'm glad he's able to join us as well. Um, <clears throat> I know Mr. Uh, Bune had mentioned it, but we are preparing for our graduations next week at Mount Hope and Chestnut Ridge. Uh, Mount Hope's is going to be on Wednesday the 24th and Chestnut Ridge uh, on Thursday the 25th. And we are looking from about a five to eight schedule there uh, with students showing up around five o'clock to do a quick run through. Uh, hopefully we'll have the graduation ceremony beginning at approximately 5.30 and finishing around six o'clock and then they'll have some fun. Uh, we're, we're ordering pizza uh, for the uh, families and then hopefully have some fun with some softball if the weather cooperates. I do have Marcus Yoder from the American Heritage Beholt Center 
coming into the speaker. So we're excited for those graduations and being able to bring our eighth grade students back for that. Um, on the administrative end here, just kind of finished up with the OTES 2.0 training, waiting to hear back from uh, the results and getting the uh, link to take the final exam to complete that uh, training for the evaluation processes. Um, the buildings are coming along uh, with a lot of summer work and cleaning and projects. Uh, I know at Mount Hope and at Chestnut Ridge with the uh, extra time with our custodians this year, we've had a lot of the hallways getting a fresh coat of paint. They look really nice, uh, brighten up the buildings a little bit. At Mount Hope, uh, we had a fence on in the front of the building, kind of off the front side that had been kind of loose and, and coming up out of the ground um, just this week. And they finished up yesterday. Uh, we pulled that up and they reset it with the same materials. So it is in uh, solid shape right now. And then also next week, continuing with the uh, Leader and Me meetings and getting those things in place for next year with our Lighthouse team and the uh, regional rep. Uh, we're gonna be meeting on Thursday and Friday mornings uh, for about an hour to continue those discussions and making sure we have that in place. All right, thank you. Yep. Uh, Mr. Haven. Good morning, everyone. As tradition, I have three things to share from Walnut Creek and Winesburg. Uh, number one, we had our sixth grade clap outs in a different kind of fashion this year. Uh, normally a tradition that we had clear back when I was a principal at Lakeville is uh, we clap out Lakeville's fifth grade because they were the oldest in the building. Um, we clapped the kids out on the last day of school. Uh, we cannot do that this year. So we changed it to uh, having it kind of a remote style parade. Uh, Winesburg, uh, we celebrated our clap out on Thursday, June 4th at Long and Necker Mennonite Church in a parking lot where the teachers were there. They were lined up. It, it looked a little bit like a flea market where they just pulled in and set up everything on the back of their cars, their balloons and banners and everything. And the parents for an hour, one parent at a time would pull in with their students and and uh, we would uh, celebrate their, their moving on. Um, it was, there was tears and uh, yeah, it was good. It was good memories. Uh, Walnut Creek, we celebrated the next night. Uh, and again, uh, we actually were able to do it here at the school because of just the logistics of our building. And uh, once again, just a, a good memorial time to see our, our kids come back one last time and to see the parents celebrate those kids as they move on. Number two, uh, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Brad, Brandon, Karen, Glenn. Uh, they're conquering our buildings one room at a time, waxing the floors and moving throughout the buildings. And uh, in addition to that, they have also other responsibilities, mowing the yard and uh, also uh, continuing to uh, just spruce up our, our buildings. We have for our buildings, uh, beautiful buildings. So we're very blessed. And then thirdly, uh, our staffs continue. Uh, we continue to collaborate, even though it is June. Uh, we do have office hours because we're still trying to wrap our mind around hybrid learning styles, hybrid learning systems, roster schedules, and uh, just want to be prepared when August rolls around and uh, we don't have to reinvent the wheel during that time. Thank you. All right, Mr. Travis. Good morning. Uh, a lot of things I are going to re be repeats, but here we go. I uh, want to thank custodians also for getting room started. Classroom cleaning has started. And also the work is continuing on the restrooms at Flat Ridge and Wise and the oldest restrooms uh, at Flat Ridge. The painting has been done and there's a frame up for drop ceiling, I think as of yesterday. And they've got some primer on the walls here at Wise. So they're making steps and work is continuing there. I wanna thank everybody for getting that work started. Um, graduation for Wise is June 23rd, next Tuesday evening at six o'clock. This is gonna be for parents and siblings. And we are also going to have a ceremony followed by pizza and then softball um, if the weather cooperates. Hopefully it takes a turn for the better than what it looks like right now. And leader in me meetings on Zoom, I wanna thank Kyler Cook, Kristen Fluharty, Lacey Troyer and Krista Ware for being involved in these Zoom calls as we continue to plan for next year, uh, leader in me and, be, and getting started. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Blocklinger. Good morning, everyone. Uh, like the guys have talked about, uh, uh, the custodians with the extra prep time that they've had, uh, the gym has been repainted and the ceiling 
uh, floors. So they're, they're doing a great job. I want to thank them. I want to thank Diane for, for the great things that she's helping me with as we are proactive in preparation for next school year, no matter what happens. Um, I want to thank my, my fifth and sixth grade teachers. Uh, at the end of the month last, in, uh, I don't know, about the 27th or 28th of May, uh, we delivered sixth grade gifts to all the sixth grade, put a lot of miles on, but we made it to all the sixth grade uh, houses and uh, wish them the best at their next uh, schools. Uh, and uh, we had a great time doing that. It was a beautiful day. So I, I appreciate their help uh, with that. And then um, uh, the M5, which is a portable out front, will get some cabinets in today. And then the two portals out back uh, are scheduled to get carpeting in. So uh, summer things are, are falling into place and, and, and doing a nice job. So we appreciate everybody's help with that. Thanks. Got it. Thanks, Gary. And Mr. Wilson. Uh, good morning. Just a couple things here. Um, our federal funds allocation uh, was dropped in uh, here this morning. Uh, so we'll be busy working on getting some budgeting uh, pieces done. Uh, initial outlook, um, there is some loss there. And so we'll continue to uh, correspond with one another and work our way through that. The uh, new one needs assessment uh, has been completed for all the buildings as well as the district. Um, so paperwork wise, I think we're in good shape. We're just down to the, the budgeting pages at this point. Um, in curriculum, uh, we have been busy uh, just getting all the textbooks distributed to the buildings for the start of the year. Uh, happy to report that there should be enough books in every building for each kid to start uh, the year off on the right foot there. And then uh, kindergarten registration uh, has been scheduled for July 30th, 31st. August 3, 4, 5, and that will be at Highland. Um, parents are receiving assigned days and we're working our way through the scheduling of that. <clears throat> It'll be slightly different, um, limited staffing uh, in place there and uh, just trying to work through some of the social distancing. So those are the, the big things for my department. All right, thank you, John. And, uh... Carrie Calzo is in the office here, so she can do hers from here. Go ahead, I Carrie. Did not work. Um, so for special education, we have just sort of wrapped up this year and looked at the numbers of evaluation meetings that we held. Then we sort of worked to put a, a tentative schedule in place for next year. Um, we've been looking at preschool plans and how that will work with our social distancing and staffing and everything. Um, we share preschool facilities with West Homes and the Holmes County Training Center. So just trying to look at how those classrooms will work best for them, for the district. And then here in the office, we've had an opportunity during this school closure and most recently in the past week, um, for me to work with Jenny and Charity. They took on new roles in the middle of the year and each of them came with strengths, but each of them came with opportunities for learning more about special education. And so just sort of streamlining the process here in the office and getting things organized, so. Thank you, Karen. All right. And then just to wrap up some of that, uh, just the superintendent's report here, just two things to communicate. One, uh, just so that everybody is aware on Thursday this week uh, um, with the Highland Intersection project uh, happening, the Township Road will be closed on Thursday and they'll reopen the County Road. But with the closure of that Township Road, uh, we'll be closing the Highland Drive um, so that we um, can safely not be the detour uh, for people. So it would just make people aware that the drive will be closed and um, won't be able to cut through there um, essentially. So, uh, but the project is really coming, coming along there um, and it seems like they are ahead of schedule um, uh, and hope that the intersection is closed by the beginning of the school year. And then. On the beginning of the school year, we continue to just uh, do our best to process and plan um, uh, and listen to the Department of Ed and, and Governor as we start to plan for the fall. Um, so a lot of internal conversations, too, about what that looks like and, and hope that we can 
begin making some movement there in terms of communicating to the community um, expectations for the fall um, uh, as, as the new school year comes around. So that's it, Steve. Okay, thank you everybody. Um, since uh, this is our first meeting since school is officially over, just a, a, a big thank you to all of you for, uh, and I, it was interesting to hear you sharing some of the special things you, you, you did to try to make it special for our kids and, and make sure they kept learning as good as possible. So big shout out to all of you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, Amanda Treasurer's report. Right, thank you. Um, in your board packets, you saw the, the May financial reports um, as we were closing out May. Now we're working to finish out June and just a reminder that June is the end of our fiscal year. So things have been on the uptick in our office. Um, we have one then and now for your approval. And this was just, I think, a timing with everything with the school closures and not knowing what kind of needs we were gonna have. Um, that requisition was not in place in time. so ask for your approval there. Um, a few other things I definitely want to direct your attention to. Um, we had discussed earlier about a need to transfer money from the general fund to our food service fund. And that is, as law, we are not allowed to start a fiscal year in the, in the negative uh, because of the school closure. Our food service fund took a big hit, obviously not having revenues come in. Um, and so we are projecting that $27,000 will be needed to transfer at the end of this month. Um, as we do close out the fiscal year, we need to make sure our estimated revenues are in place and are high enough and our actual revenues. So we have some adjustments there uh, in order to get your approval. And then those will be able to go to the county auditor for her approval as well. With that um, appropriation modifications, um, just updating a few small things that we need to in order to, again, make sure we have temper or have appropriations in place that are higher than our actual spending. I shared with you yesterday the temporary appropriations to put in place for July. Uh, there's printouts here for those of you uh, that are here as well. Uh, these are estimated as close as possible to what we actually think appropriations will be. Uh, we operate under the mindset, let's get those as close as possible. That way we do not have to make as many adjustments in the fall. Um, the grant funds are on there. So hearing John say that our federal allocations came in today, he and I will be communicating and making sure that we can get those updated. Um, so in September, we will have to have permanent appropriations in place so we can adjust any of those as needed um, in the fall. Any questions? Okay. And I'll obviously communicate with you as we close out the fiscal year, anything that may need to be communicated. Okay, any discussion or questions on the treasurer's report? Okay, thank you, Amanda. Would someone uh, make a motion to approve? I'll make that motion. Jim? I'll second it. Herman, second. Go ahead with roll call, Amanda. Mr. Hertz? Yes. Mr. Mullet? Yes. Mrs. Clink? Yes. Mr. Kyle Miller? Yes. Mr. Steve Miller? Yes. Okay, uh, Eric, go ahead, uh, new business. I would ask that you approve one through six there um, on our new business. Um, uh, number one there is our agreement with the East ESC um, to provide free services for us, our managed IT contract. This will be the fourth year that um, they've been doing our, our IT. Uh, and that contract is still approximately consistent um, over that time. Um, they also provide some of our students with some um, ELL services and then um, our American Sign Language course at Highland as well. Uh, number three there, uh, appreciate the Teachers Association's support and um, uh, doing an MOU um, so that we can pay our spring um, supplemental contracts. And uh, number four is a resolution uh, supporting, supporting the same. Uh, number five, currently we have 35 students next year planning to take College Credit Plus uh, courses at Highland. And then number six is our agreement with the Holmes County Sheriff's Office um, for deputy coverage during, during the school year. Okay, questions or discussion from anyone? 
not, I would entertain a motion to approve uh, one through six under new business. So moved. Julia? So moved. Go ahead, Amanda. Mrs. Blink? Yes. Mr. Gertz? Yes. Mr. Kyle Miller? Yes. Mr. Mullet? Yes. Mr. Steve Miller? Yes. Okay. Um, number eight personnel items. Go ahead, Eric. All right. On uh, personnel uh, one through eight, there, uh, number one, two resignations there, and would highlight uh, B there, Tammy Hicks, a longtime art teacher at Highland, um, 30 plus years um, of service at Highland. So I want to um, highlight her um, and, and wish her well uh, in her retirement. Uh, number two and three are corrections to two contracts there for teachers. Uh, four is uh, to provide some extended school year services for some, uh, some of our students uh, throughout the summer. Uh, we have a salary schedule change there uh, for Carly Maley. Um, a non-renewal there on number six of Abigail Miller and Aid at Berlin uh, because that classroom um, is not uh, there anymore and um, FMLA request for Andrea Gingrich. And then number eight um, are the replacements for Tammy Hicks there of Chris Franks and Marlia hirschberger Lineball. Um, and just for clarification there, uh, you know, we're not adding um, total uh, staff um, in terms of increasing the, the level of art. Um, Chris Franks already teaches, has already taught a couple other classes for us at Highland and and want to continue him um, teaching those courses. So we needed, um, we're able to find someone part-time to fill, to fill that art schedule there. Okay, any questions or discussion on personnel item? Not, I would entertain a motion to approve uh, one through eight. I'll make that motion. Kyle? Second. Julia, second. Go ahead, Amanda. Mr. Kyle Miller. Yes. Mrs. Clink. Yes. Mr. Gertz. Yes. Mr. Mullet. Yes. Mr. Steve Miller. Yes. Uh, recommend that the Board of Education go into executive session for any of the following matters to consider appointment, employment, dismissal, discipline, promotion, demotion, or compensation of a public employee or official. Okay. Third and second. Go ahead, Amanda. Mrs. Clink? Yes. Mr. Mullet? Yes. Mr. Gertz? Yes. Mr. Kyle Miller? Yes. Mr. Steve Miller? Yes. Thank you, everybody. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. I think last night you guys will have a